my great idea was, let's bring these three guys together and don't tell them anything. Don't tell them what to talk about. Don't tell them what music to play. And just let them be together. And whatever happens, happens. And, you know, and then the closer we got to the date, I started to sweat and panic because I didn't know what they were going to say. And they kept saying, you know, Jimmy said, what do you want me to talk about? And, uh, and Edge would say, what do you want me to play? And Jack says, what, what are we going to do? And uh, the closer we got it, the, the more I felt like my great idea was a terrible idea. Um, we, had pl we had actually drew a map of the Warner Brothers lot and, and plotted a path for Jimmy Page to walk so he wouldn't run into Jack or Edge, and the same for the three. And when they came down and met and shook hands, they had never sat down together. They'd met briefly, but they'd never really talked. And for the first couple hours, there was, there, there was some sort of like warming up to do. And you can see that in the movie. Um, and I was just hoping that they would play. You know, we'd, we'd put three chairs facing each other, and then behind them, like this, there were guitars, and behind them were the amps. We didn't, there was no set list, there were no questions. And finally, the thing that broke the ice was Jimmy stood up, sorry, and he grabbed his, his Gibson, Les Paul, and he played Whole Lot of Love. <laughs> You know, it was thundering. The music, the sound was thundering, and the crew was just like, <gasps> and all of us were behind the stage high fiving each other because it sounded so good. And here's this like, and you see the reactions on Jack and Edge's face. They're just like, they melt into these little boys. And it just immediately warmed up. <laughs> 